Welcome to Shattering Black Male Stereotypes, where our intention is to empower black men to live extraordinary lives. You see, there's never been a shortage of black male role models. There's only been a lack of exposure of those role models. So the intention here is to showcase and highlight men of color who are doing amazing things in the world. And so today, the show's going to be a little different because I got a unique person that I'm going to showcase some amazing artwork with. Obviously, we generally get into conversations. And so this isn't as much about a conversation as it's about sharing something absolutely beautiful. You see, I want you to ask yourself this. Do you appreciate beauty? How often do you have reverence for the beauty that's in our world? Now, speaking for myself, I love nature. I love being out in nature. I love art. I love beautiful music. And so what you have to ask yourself is, are you so tied up in the hustle and bustle that you're missing out on the beauty that's all around us? Well, today we're going to be talking, talking with Mr. Dwayne Jones. And I ran across one of his art pieces on LinkedIn. And I said, wow. I mean, I was literally blown away. So I followed the link, found him on Instagram, found him on Facebook, and I said, I've got to get this guy on the show. So without further ado, let's introduce Mr. Dwayne Jones. Dwayne, how you doing, man? Hey, what's going on, bro? How you? It's all good, man. So glad to have you on the show. And as I mentioned, glad to be here, what, man. Glad to be here. What we're talking about is beauty. And what you've done is you have this gift of capturing beauty and expressing it through art. So my first question is, did you come from an art background? No, actually, I didn't. You know, I, I've always had a creative knack about myself. You know, I used, to do, I used to be into music a while ago, and I've been doing art. It's just for a hobby. You know, just okay. some friends of mine seeing what I was doing, is, you know, they tell me, you know, wow, this is really good, but you thinking that just being friends, you know. So when I put stuff online just to test my, myself out, people really, really took to it. They really took to it. What I do is when I do something, I don't stop until I can look at it and actually say, wow. It just can't be a regular picture of anything. It has to be like, wow, you know what I mean? So I went from there as far as learning how to blend colors and, you know, uh, make the picture stand out. You know, it, it, like I always say, you can see a, a picture of a, a lion or a tiger or an elephant or anything. And I mean, I've seen some immaculate drawn pictures. But to me, it's just an elephant, a tiger, or you know, when you put, add color to it and express what's really going on in the picture, it's, and it says something, then to me, that's art. So do you, have, do you have formal training, or is it just a gift that you have? No, well, actually, digital art, people go to college for the course. You know, they go to college for the course. And I was talking to somebody one day, and he inboxed me and said that, I inspired him to get back into digital art. So he asked me what school I went to. I told him I'm self-taught. I didn't go to any school. I taught myself. So he started talking about how I blend the colors and I do X, Y, Z, you know. So I asked him, what do he do for a living? And when he told me that he was in, like he was in California, he was the uh, college art professor of digital arts, that, that really blew me away. That's when I, I said, I, I really must have something here. But I, I'm self-taught. I taught myself. Wow. So, so you're doing all of your images on a computer? Is that right? Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm on a computer. I'm on a tablet. You know, I use the Apple Pencil, you know, on, on iPad Pro, and I'm back on a computer. I bounce my stuff around until the, I get exactly what I want. I have a special technique, but it doesn't have steps. I look at it and figure, well, I'll try this now. Well, I'll try that now, you know. Like, truthfully, for example, I could never duplicate the same picture twice. It's almost like mom cooking, you know, you see, come off with something good and you want the same exact thing. You, you might not get that. <laughs> right, right. So they use the term in art, photorealistic. And so right. when, when I look at your art, that's what it looks, I mean, it looks realistic. It doesn't look like it's digital. I mean, it looks like you literally took a brush or took a picture. I mean, because the images are so amazing. So you have you always been artistic or is this something you recently just picked up? 
It's just something I recently just picked up, you know, just something to do. I'm not a person, I don't, you know, I don't hang out much. You know, I, I, I go to work, I come home. I'm like a homebody, you know, I like being in that house and, and, and my surroundings, you know, and I just start picking up my, you know, my tablet and my uh, iPad pencil and my computer and I just create. I just create some and truthfully, you know, and, and not putting myself up on no pedestal, but sometimes I, sh I really shock myself the way things come out. You know, I just keep on going until I get exactly what I want. I mean, it's, it's a technique and it's a style that I have that I don't think anybody else is using right now. Of course, you have other digital artists out there, but I do things that's a little bit different. Like I have this little formula that I cooked up and when I bounce things back around until I get what I want and this is the result. Well, I, I, personally believe that it's simply a gift. It's not something that someone can teach you. It's something that's inside of you. It's, it's your gift, I, I believe, because it, when I look at your art, you know, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And right. so when I see art, you know, there are some pieces from any type of art, you know, that speaks to you. And a couple of things about your art that I really love. First of all, I personally love color. I love vibrant, bright color. And so yeah. that was the first thing that drew me to your work, just the, the beauty and the color and how you're able to, to tie it all together. But even at a deeper level, I think art speaks to you, speaks to you, it touches something in you. And that's, that's what your art does. Yes, to. yes, it does. Yeah, it, 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 it touches something for me. And so that's why when I first saw it, I said, God, this guy is amazing. So. I'm going to do all I can to help spread the word. And this is one of the ways I'll do that through this interview. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna kind of go through some of your images and just kind of get, a, this is something I've always wanted to do, which is to speak to the artist. You know, when I see something, okay. that, to be able to talk to an artist and just ask questions. Now, when these pictures pop up, I actually just named them for myself. I didn't name them for you. So I want you to tell me what you might have named them. But just for my own understanding, I put a little name just so I could remember uh, the layout. So let me jump over here and get some of these images up on the screen. Let's see here. We're going to go. Bum, bum, bum. All righty, so let's see here. Come on, play. All right, so can you see that? Yes, I can. You you recognize that guy? Let me see. He looks. <laughs> he look, he look, he's a handsome old guy. <laughs> <laughs> so these are obviously some of your pieces. Now, is this in your studio or is this a oh, work? That, that there. That there was actually uh, a show I had did over in New York. It was sort of like a, a vending event where, okay. you know, you had different black vendors out there selling their products. And it was a fashion show also. So I was invited. That was like my, one of, actually one of my first events. I was invited out there. And uh, those are a couple of pieces that I had in my home that I figured I'd take and I'd show. So, you know, I brought them along with me. Those are like 38 by 40 canvas pieces, most of them. Okay. And the event was pretty nice. It wasn't, truthfully, it wasn't all what I expected, but it was good exposure and it was pretty nice. That's, that's the key. Got to get that exposure. Now, this happens to be my favorite piece. <laughs> For a couple of reasons. Number one, as I mentioned, I love color. But it's almost like you've, put light behind the color and it's just jumping out. And it reminded me of the seventies when I was, you know, with my black light posters and, you know. And wow, I remember that yeah, with the little foot, the, with the fuzz on the poster, right? Yeah, you remember the little fuzz posters? But, but the, <laughs> the, the, the color, so I'm just curious, how do you get that? It's almost like it's metallic looking and there's light behind it. I, I mean, obviously you can't explain the whole technique, but, but how do you come up with that? That's basically what digital art is all about. I okay. mean, you can take you can take a pencil or a pen or a paintbrush, and you can you know you can do art with colors also. But okay. with digital art, you have a chance to actually explore with light. 
So ah. it's just basically a com it's just basically a combination of the right colors and the lighting is what sets it off. You have you have different programs, you know, that uh, distribute light in certain ways. But like I said, you know, I bounce things around until I get what I want. So this wouldn't actually be something whereas, you know, I just did it in a uh, Photoshop or I just did it in editor or 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 pixel or, you know. Mm -hmm. I bounced it around into different programs until I got exactly what I want by playing with the light. This was actually uh, an image that I seen on a, a, a black website, a free image as a matter of fact. And what I did was, you know, I kind of altered the way she was standing. And then when I added the colors and the light, it just turned the picture into like something else. I always say color and lighting expresses everything. It, it, it turns an average picture, an average image into something totally different. It says something. Yeah, absolutely. And I actually, and I actually call this one black art. Black art? Yeah, All right. That's what I call this, yes. Black art, so that's the official name, folks. Black art, disregard electric light. That's Michael Taylor's name. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like that thing too. It's, it's called black art via electric light. <laughs> there you go, there you go. All right, so let's, let's go to the next one. Okay. Now, I just call this one Hot Wax because I love albums and I had flashbacks of the 70s when I used to be a DJ and I used to haul all my albums around and, and doing parties and doing dances. So tell us a little bit about this one. This one is actually called DJ. What I did was, you know, a lot of times you get uh, most DJs and most clubs is always a man, you know. Yeah. But I, what I wanted to do was do something different. You know, so I took a woman and I put her in there. Of course, I gave her, you know, like the Afro look, the punk rock look with the jacket, you know. And the right. thing that really, really excited me about this picture is, you know, basically people don't even use vinyl too much no more. So I really wanted to go back some. That's what that, that was the whole idea of this picture, to take it back. So, you know, I put the Afro in there, you know, the glasses and the, the, uh, the punk rock jacket and put the vinyl in her hands. Nice. And as far as the color, I wanted to take the color and I didn't want the color to be too bright and too flashy. I wanted to just add the right amount of color for exactly what I was trying to say. Because remember, remember vinyl was like, you know, back in the day. So right. I didn't want it too colorful as far as, you know, as far as graphically what's going on today. So that's why I chose those colors, more like a dollar type color. But see, it, it also, to me, it reflects that 70s feel. Exactly. You know, it, it reflects that back in the day when we had the album see i can feel holding that album in my hand as i look at this picture it's like wow you know, what? You, know, you know you know what i like about art too this is this is just my theory when i do a picture i don't want the person to see exactly what i seen if yeah. i can give him his own idea then i, I su i've succeeded uh, everybody yeah. has different interpretations when they see my stuff of what they feel and that's what it's all about it's what you see yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go to the next one. Now, this one is called The Art of Dance, I believe. That's the name of it. And it is just one of those pieces that goes, wow. <laughs> just wow, because you're getting the color, but at the same time, it's like you can see the texture of the skin. So, again, it's very as I mentioned, photorealistic. So what was the, the meaning or the thinking behind this one? Well, what I did with this one, uh, the image, you know, I have two people there dancing and they're dancing kind of like seductively, you know what I mean? And you, if, you, if you just look at the basic picture and just imagine no color in there at all, it almost like as if you could see them moving smoothly. So what I did was I wanted the colors to move smoothly also. So mm -hmm. when I added the colors, if you notice, like the way the strokes are, like the colors are moving with them. It just was a matter then of, you know, the, because I, I, I like black backgrounds. Black backgrounds make the colors stand out. So mm -hmm. with the black background, with the colors inside of them, like the colors also is moving with their bodies. It all comes together. That's why I call it the art of the dance. Beautiful. I love it. Let's see what else I got here. Ah, ballerina. Now, I love this piece because of how you wove in the piano keys, which when, wow. I'm, thinking about uh, ball, when I'm thinking about ballerina, I'm thinking, mu I'm thinking beautiful classical music combined with and, the beautiful and, classic female. And that's, that's Misty Copeland. 
Ah, okay. Right, that's Missy Colton, the famous black ballerina. And yeah. what I did was I wanted to take I wanted to take her at the same time, give the music feel, and at the same time give the background like a, a symbol of peace. So you have peace, you have the music, and of course you have her grace. It's like all combined in one. So like I said, I didn't use any like like uh really, really bright colors, like bright oranges and bright reds and greens. I wanted it to stay peaceful at the same time with the keys, with the piano keys. So, you know, it's like, it's like a combination of everything. You have grace, you have beauty, you have music. It's like all combined in one. Nice, beautiful. Now this piece I think is amazing. <laughs> the intricacy of it and the, you know, it's got that African Caribbean sort of thing vibe going on. But I love how you incorporated her, her hair, if you will, with these complex spirals. So what's what's up with that? Right. Well, what I tried to do there was I almost tried to keep something like monotone, with actually just a hint of other colors in it that all clash together. And you know, I wanted it to be really like African-like. You know, that's why I chose like the spiral patterns. I chose the right tone for her skin. And like the green with the like little orange texture in the background, just to keep everything sort of like a monotone. Because some people they actually like stuff monotone. They don't want too many colors because they might have a certain idea as far as for decorating. And so everybody is not into like a whole bunch of bright colors all together. So at the same time, by me using the monotone, I had to make the expression of the woman fit. Yeah. Very appropriate. So what I did, right? So what I did was I I I, I kept her skin tone mono. You know, I, I I mean, it's like everything is just blended together, like with a, just a hint of green. And yeah. I don't really do a lot of monotone pictures, but this one I think particularly came out pretty well. It came out yeah. pretty nice. Yeah, I love it. Now, this one I call this one open mind. <laughs> Um, oh, that, that's my that, that's my boy right there. You know who that is, right? No, who's that? Oh, that's Jean Michel Basquiat. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah, recognize him. That was yeah. That was a tribute to him. That was a tribute to Jean Michel. I mean, I, you know, when I first seen his stuff, I really wasn't feeling it too much because I didn't understand it. Actually, you know, my wife put me on him actually, and. When I seen his stuff, you know, and I looked at it, I was like, you know, I don't really understand too much where this guy is you know, going with this. But like everybody else was really kind of thrilled about it. And the more I got into him and learned his background and what he stood for and you know, his lifestyle and stuff, every time I looked at his stuff, it got better and better to me. I mean, it, 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 I, I understood it because I understood him. Some 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 pictures. If you understand the artist, that's what makes the stuff even more beautiful. And, and right. he was that type of guy. He was that type of guy. So that was like just a uh, a tribute a tribute to him when I did that picture there. But that's Jean Michel. Now for those who check out his autobiography, it's really it's really really good. It's really nice. So for those who are watching, they may have no idea who he is. So explain to them who he is. What's he about? Uh, Jean Michel was a guy uh, back in the. Uh, early 80s he came out and what happened was he had got hit by a car when he was a child and he started to like you know paint as if he was a child his paintings almost look like a child did them but they have like a lot of pizzazz behind them and you can tell i mean there's something going on behind these paintings and you know he did a lot of work with uh andy warhol they did a lot of work together and i mean guy can be one of the richest black young artists in the world. He died at a very young age. He was in his early 20s when he died of a drug overdose because, you know, he was- Oh, yeah, drugs really, really yeah, 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 now, okay, now it's coming down. Right, it's because they cried because they did a movie about him. It was really, really good, really good, really, okay. really good. But I, I, I really admire him. He really, really did a good job. It's just that if he'd had his life together, you know, he probably could have went even further, but I mean, they're still selling his stuff for like millions of dollars, millions of dollars. All right. That's why we want to get you up there, bro. We want to get you up there. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> there's, there's a lot of symbolism in this one. So what's, what's your... Oh, yeah. You, you, you surprised me with that one, man. I was about to duck off the phone for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but you know, you know, when I when I did that one, you know, I I posted, but if I'm not mistaken, I didn't put it on too many sites because it was really, really kind of deep. I mean, I'm pretty sure people can look at that and that's like almost self-explanatory. Right. That's one of them pictures where as if you had a, a room full of people and everybody's seen it, every single one will have their own interpretation of what it means. Right. Yeah. I love it though. I really, I really do. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. you when you threw that one up there, you kind of shocked me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I call this one deep thought. So what do you, what is this one for you? What do you call this one? Well, actually that's a woman in, in deep prayer. Prayer. What I, tried, what I tried to do was I tried to take colors and make people feel exactly what she's doing and by you calling the deep thoughts that that's very good so i i, I guess i succeeded but yeah. what i wanted to do was take the colors and make people feel that this woman is in deep thought or she's in deep prayer and i tried to express that by the colors yeah i i felt that when i saw it that's I just nearly where i went now i love how you combine the uh, inanimate, uh, <laughs> inanimate objects with the with the the live body so tell, tell us a little bit about this one yeah that one the microphone you know there's yeah. you know there's lots of women singers out here now as a matter of fact you know it's, it's like more than men and this picture here i wanted to take a microphone and fuse it with a woman and see if people can feel exactly what's going on if you notice i even took the bottom of the microphone and made it shape like it's her body right right that's and at the same time, I did, at the same time, I combined the bottom, but at the top, I just wanted to make them like together and not really put them too much in, you know, and I wanted her to be expressive. You know, I didn't use, I use regular colors, you know, the color of the microphone, the color of the woman, you know, a nice monotone background and just so people can look at it and just feel what's going on there. I see you called the diva, huh? Good name. <laughs> there you go. Good name. Now, this one is just amazing. Tell me a little bit about this one. I, I couldn't, I, I can't, so many things were going through my head when I saw this. What, what, what's this about? This one here, basically, is the two sides of a person. Mm. I mean, and just by me saying that, like you just said, mm, you can basically get your own idea of what I meant when I said that. Yep. I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk too loud, man. I don't want to get smacked in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> the mist creep up in here. But what I try to do is that's the two sides of a person. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could say the other side is like vibrant or wild or mysterious, you know, and the other side actually looks serious or sad or thinking, you know, but basically both sides are like the same person, but it's like different feelings and different personalities. Got it. Now, I'm assuming you have some influence from Salvador Dali. Is that what this is? Oh, uh, that, that was, just a, you know what? That was just a tribute to Dali. That's all that was because, okay. you know, I, ever since I got into art, I started studying other artists, you know, as far as like, you know, their ways and what inspired them. And I was watching a uh, documentary one time on Salvador Dali and, you know, I, I, I kind of understand where he was coming from. So I just did that as a tribute to him. That's what yeah. that was. Yeah, you, def you definitely captured his style in that. Right, and I try, I try to do it my way, but his style. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Now, this one, I just, oh. I, I love this one. The because, Village Girl. <laughs> what's that? That's the Village Girl. Village, village Girl? That's what I call it. It's like a Greenwich Village type of thing. Ah, okay. All right. But I love that the hair, obviously, but there's a, what I call a fierceness to her. It's like this in control, confident, just you gotta, you'd almost, she's almost intimidating. <laughs> you know, she's like, whoa. Wow. <laughs> you know, you don't know if you want to approach her, man, because she's kind of fierce. You know, I was like, what? So, yeah. Exactly. You know what? And you, you're right, the way she looks like she's kind of fierce, but at the same time, if you notice her jacket, I tried to make her jacket like a multicolor type thing because to me, multicolors say a lot too. Multicolors speak friendly, they're vibrant, they're sociable. So, you know, I, I didn't want to make her too fierce. Like if I would have put a black jacket on her, then, you know, forget it. You, know, you wouldn't yeah. say anything at all to her. But just by the expression of her jacket, it gives her some, 
other type of personality also. Nice. Now, and this one is, this is, there's something about this picture that- Now, I, 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 now I got the name of this picture in my head, but I want to hear your interpretation. Okay. For me, as I looked at that, I reflected back, you know, back in the 80s, late 80s, you know, I went through a divorce, I went through a bankruptcy. I mean, I went through a bunch of stuff, right? So my mind- now, You know what? I mean to cut you off, but I, 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 I must really- the name of this picture is called Man Struggles. Oh, okay. It's it. You you nailed it. Because when I saw <laughs> when, when I saw that, I thought about all those challenges that I went through and how, you know, when you're going through all that stuff, your mind is just fractured. It's just like trying to put the pieces back together. So yeah, I think that's that's exactly. that's pretty appropriate. It it captured exactly. that essence for sure. Right. And, 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 when you started off, what you was just saying, I said to myself, wow, I, I guess I hit it right on the head because the name of that picture is Man Struggles. Absolutely. Beautiful. And I love this piece. And you've got that, I, don't, I guess it's, it's, it's not, how would I describe it? You've combined that divinity piece you know that divinity piece from is it Michelangelo who did the divinity piece? Right, exactly. Yeah, so you got that Michelangelo thing going on, but there's something about how he's reaching to me is a little different. It's like here's a brother that's reaching to support and pull up, bring up his woman. That's kind of what I got this 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 divine feeling of support. This brother reaching down to support and empower his woman. What you what you have in it and. and by, and by you saying that, I, you, you just spoke for me. That's exactly what it is. Ah, okay. He, he's trying to uplift her. He's just trying to uplift this woman. That's exactly what it is. Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. You know, and, and, and that piece there was something different for me. I wanted to try something different. Truthfully, now to be truthful with you, I love the way it came out, but it didn't come out exactly like I had it in my head. But still, mm. it still came out pretty decent. Sometimes when I do a picture, I can get it to come out exactly like what I'm seeing, or sometimes better, or sometimes a little bit different. But, you know, I'm satisfied with the way it came out, but I had something else different in mind. But at the same time, that's the idea I was going for. He's uplifting the black woman, exactly. And, and I love how he's got the locks, you know, and he's got this determination in him. I just, oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you. Now this piece, what do you what do you call this? Oh, I call that piece the dream, the wild dream, the wild dream, wild, wild dream. Yes, oh, okay. that was just a piece. I, that was just a piece. Actually, when I came here and I was doing it, it took me a couple of days to do that picture. You know, I used a lot of different colors, a lot of different patterns. I even tried to make the eyes with patterns inside the eyes because it was just like just wild thoughts. I mean, you can look at it and basically have your own interpretation of what it's trying to say, but it's all about a dream. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. This piece I like. Now, I just called it Mother Nature. What do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> I call it the element. You know what? I'm going to tell you something about this picture. I'm going to get deep for a minute. Okay. I'm a black artist and I like to do art, but at the same time, I like to be labeled as an artist. You know, I posted that uh, a couple of art sites and uh, this one guy got me kind of upset because, you know, he asked me what made me change, you know, from using black women to, you know, just to jump to this right here. First of all, I love my people, number one. But number two, to be honest with you, we all come from Adam, all of us. And I don't have not one prejudiced bone in my body, not one. And I wanted to express that when I did this picture right here. I call it the elements. You got wind in there, you got lightning, you got water, you got, uh, you got little earth, you have plants. I just want to combine them all together. And when I seen the skin tone of this woman here, this is what I wanted to use. Now, I mean, truthfully, when I use skin tone like that, I mean, it could be a... a a, a Spanish woman or, a, I mean, you know, it don't necessarily have to be what you he looked at and what he perceived. 
but the point I was trying to make is, you know, um, I'm an artist and that's what I do, art. And this picture here just expresses everything to me. Well, I, I think that's pretty profound because as a matter of fact, I actually commented on one of your sites about that guy that posted that because I, like yourself, I see art and I see this guy who's got this amazing gift and he's sharing that gift and to be able to, or to, I don't want to say he attacked you, but to even imply in any way that you're, you know, you're abusing or you're not showcasing your race has nothing to do with this. Exactly. It's you expressing yourself. And, and, and so it has nothing to do with race or ethnicity. And so I'm glad that you see it that way as an artist, because I, I see you as an artist. I don't see you as a black artist. I see you as an amazing artist. Now, the fact that you showcase black women a lot in your art right. reflects, reflects where your heart is. And there's no question. But see, I've shown white people your artwork with the black women, and they just gasp because it's beautiful. <laughs> It's beautiful. It has nothing to do with ethnicity. It's just beauty. And you capture that with your artwork. Thank you. And that's, and that's what I try to do. I try to, you know, capture, I, when people look at it, you know, like you said, most of the time you see a black woman or, you know, but I don't want them to just look at it as, you know, I see a black woman. I want them to just look at the whole picture and just see beauty. And that's what, that's exactly what it is. Um, and like, and like I always express, we, we all came from one Adam. There wasn't no black Adam, white Adam, red Adam. It was one Adam. We all came from him. So, gotcha. you know, I, yeah, I don't, I don't do the race card too well. I never did. And, and for me, that's what the whole story in the Bible symbolizes. We all come from the same source. We're all yes, related. We we're, we're all connected. That's the way yes, we God. are. Yes, we are. Yes, definitely. That's, that's the way God intended it. All right, so we're, let's see. You only had like 30 minutes, so let's see. I don't want to. Okay, so you got about five more minutes. You good? You can give me five more. Let's do this. Okay, all right. Oh, I got to tell you, I love this one. I love this one. Because <laughs> I had flashbacks when I saw that pic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I, I guess that's for the brother that was hard on. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a beautiful piece, though. Let me, let's go to the next one so we can get you out of here. Now, this, again, oh, how you okay. combine the body with the inanimate cello or violin, whatever that is, that's absolutely lovely. I love how you do that. That's just beautiful. You know, my... Go ahead. That last picture we seen, you know, my mother always said one of her favorite records, I forget the name of it and even how it go, but she was talking about how somebody made a record a while ago, talking about the violin and saying how it had the body of a woman, you know? Mm -hmm. If you actually look at a violin, you can actually see that it, it, kind, of, it kind of does. Okay. You know, when I do pictures of inanimate objects, I, I might look at the image first and I'll just stare at it. And all of a sudden, I'll see something else besides that inanimate object. And that's when I'll try to combine them. Mm. That's awesome. That's beautiful. King and Queen. Love that, love that piece. That one kind of speaks for itself. Okay, that's exactly what it is. King and Queen. Yeah. And this one, what do you, what do you call this one? That one there, actually, what happened there is I um, had got a new program and I wanted to try something different as far as blending colors mm. so basically I took some patterns and I, I mixed them together and then I tried to find the right skin tone as far as like you know the facial expression and skin tone at the same time to blend and and complement the colors that I had already mm. you know nice. and I see right there you, you call it the deep dreaming which was close to what I had because it was actually called Deep Thoughts. So you know what I like about what's going on right now? I can tell that what I'm doing, you really, really are feeling it because when you see what I'm doing, you, you see exactly what I see because your, mm. your perception and the names is like, you know, almost similar to mine. I don't even have to say anything. I, I see that you call it Deep Dreaming and that's Deep Thought because she is in Deep Thought. Well, but again, your, your art touches me. That, that's, that's why, because I can't tell you how many times I've just stared 
at your at your pictures. I called my wife up and said, babe, you gotta see this one, you gotta see this one. <laughs> you gotta see this one. <laughs> so I mean I've been I've been I've been looking at ever since I found them, man. I I I've been looking at them. And you know, just to just to say again, this is a perfect example of what I was getting ready to say. Just to let people know again, digital art is the art of it's almost like photo manipulation. You're taking photos and you're taking color and then you draw some, you, I mean, you can manipulate, you can draw some things on there of your own or you can pose it the way you want to pose it, but it's all about making everything work together. Everything, yeah. everything. Yeah. This is one of my favorites right here. This one did really, really well on uh, social media. And all I did here was, you know, I uh, took an image and I changed the facial features around. I added my own, you know, lips and stuff, you know. And when I seen the way her facial expression was from what I did, these are the colors that I seen and the mm. patterns that I seen. So, I mean, you know, you put them together. Some, I'm going to tell you something, man. Sometimes I do a picture and I, I sit back and look at it and I say to myself, how did I come up with this? Mm. I mean, it was, it, it, it's where I was going, but I look like, wow. I mean, this one came out better than what I had in my head, honestly. Yeah, that's, it's, that's amazing. And purple's my favorite color. I, I love yeah. anything purple. Yeah. <laughs> so this one really jumped out. <laughs> So this one is, uh, this one, I was like, whoa, <laughs> like, whoa. Now, first thing I thought of, you remember Medusa in mythology? Yeah. You know, it's like, well, Medusa was a very beautiful woman who was very vain, and then she got a curse put on her, and that's why she got the snakes in her hair. So exactly. when I saw, I saw this beautiful person, and then I had this image of Medusa with the snake. So what's what's your interpretation of this? What's what's this for you? This 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 one here, I just tried to make the ultimate African piece. Mm. I seen some pat I seen some patterns that I really, really fell in love with. And when I stared at the patterns, I mean it all actually came to mind. I seen one pattern as far as playing a part of hair. I seen the other patterns as far as like tribal marks, you know. And mm -hmm. then you see, like, you see like some little marks above the eyes and, you know, around the ears and stuff, you know. So I seen this as far as me putting it all together. And when I put it together, it actually came out better than I thought it would. It really did. So this like to me is, I, like I said, I tried to create the, off, the, the ultimate African piece. Yeah. And the, the embedded jewels is symbolic of a lot of African tribes. They, they right. do that. Right, exactly. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Exactly. Once again, there's the uh. music <laughs> tied in the piano. Love that. There's your boy. You know, I wasn't going to do that at first because it was so many Nipsey pictures out there. But I said, you know what? Let me show people my version. And that's when I did that picture there. Yeah, I love it. Once again, I love purple, and I love how you bring that mystical Pegasus horse with the wings, which I've always loved because I love mythology and I love that. So, what's your deal on this one? Just you just love the whole, the um, well, this one, this one here. When I when I seen uh, the uh, unicorn, you know, I seen more than just a unicorn. You know, I wanted him to be in some kind of like being that as a a a, a a mystical creature and some kind of mystical background. You notice I put the little purple water under the bottom and I wanted the, the, the back not to be like angelic, but just have some kind of mystical feeling to it. Mm. You know, and, and, and but I, I like silver. Silver brings out like a, a, a whole lot as far as like lighting when you're looking for like a mystical type of feel. So, you know, when I added it, when I put this one together, you know, this was actually uh, done for a, a child's room. Honestly, so I try to keep the I try to keep it clean and keep the colors nice and bright, you know, because colors also play a, a large part as far as emotions. You know what I mean? Sure. And I figured that was going to be a, a, ch a child's room, whatever the child was going through when she go inside the room and see this, it might you know take away whatever she's going through. Yeah, and it, it's almost like butterfly wings behind it, almost like the the purple when I saw that my first thought was is there a butterfly behind it or what was that going on but I love I love that oh, okay 
I just I, I just tried to keep like the mystical feel as far as like with the wings and the purple and the silver, you yeah. know. But you 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 was close. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, now this one I love too. What you got here? Okay, I just tried to actually, like you said, take a a, a a black woman and show her royalty as far as with colors. Instead of just adding a crown to the head, I wanted to do something different. Because if, if you notice, a lot of my pictures, I add crowns to the head to show royalty with a black woman. But this time, I wanted to do it with colors. Mm, I love it. Really nice. Ooh, this one's cool. What you, what do you call this? Right. That one is power. That's why I put the I put like the 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 sun emblem like in her hand. Right. If you notice the colors in the background of her represent power. Everything here represents power. And at the same time, she doesn't look arrogant with the power. She looks like she's very calm. At the same time, she looks powerful. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. <laughs> this is cool. Hey, where did that come from, man? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You know what, honestly? You know what, honestly, that one wasn't even really finished. You know, oh, really? That was, no, it wasn't even really finished. It, it, the idea didn't go like, you know, I really wanted to. I mean, it didn't come out bad, but it it, it wasn't really finished. And when I, just now, when you just put this on the screen, I was shocked, like, how did he get that? That wasn't even done. But hey, there it is. What can I say? <laughs> but see, but you, what you do is you, you, you capture sensuality in an artistic, beautiful way. Exactly. So, when you, when you think of females, obviously we think of the beautiful female body, but when you think of the lips, the lips are one of the most sensual part of a person. And that's what I tried to do. I tried to take a, a, a sexy picture and make it even more sexy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and putting her in those lips, that really epitomizes sensuality. So, yes. great, great job. Yeah. Now, this piece is really unique. Yes. What, 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 do, you, what do you call that one? I'm gonna tell you something with this piece right here. When I did this piece, I had something else in mind, but this was one of those pieces as I was creating it, I seen more and more and more. So it, it actually didn't finish the way I had it in my head, it finished even better. Because mm. as I kept creating, I just kept seeing more and more and more and more and, and th until I got to a point where I said, okay, that's enough. I mean, how far are you gonna go? Because sometimes, you know, we can open, Redo things sometimes, you know, like I'm pretty sure you don't see maybe actors on TV overdo it or, you know, singers overdo it or dancers, you know, and this one here, I just kept going and going until I finally said, you know what, this is it right here. This is enough. This is enough. This one right here is called African Expression. African, okay. I just tried, I just tried, I just tried to express myself with colors and features. And I had to actually say to myself, okay, you can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Because I had so much fun doing this one. I really did. All right. So this one, again, I got this image of just supporting black women. That, that's right. when, I, when I saw this, I said, how do we support our women? What, what was your intention with it? And at the same time here, not only supporting them, keeping them comfortable and secure. Mm. Mm. That's what this picture was all about. It was all about support, comfort, and being secure. Mm. And you see, she's well relaxed. Right, right. At the right. same time, I used the smooth background for calmness, nice little sunset, just to keep everything nice and calm. Nice, nice. And last but not least, this woman is mm, 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 purple. I love the purple. I love the crown, the hair, the shape. What's going on? What'd you, what'd you call this? That one there, what I tried to do was make the modern day woman beautiful in her own way. That's why I put the crown on the head at the same time I put the glasses. And of course, you know, I made her sort of like, she's bold. So I use bold colors. I was just trying to make the modern day woman bold at the same time, beautiful in her own way. That's why That's why I really had to add the crown also. Got and it. You picked, the per you picked the perfect name for it, exactly. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right, so let's get out of that. All right. So, man, I, I, could, I could go through your art with you all day. 
But yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's fun. I, I, I really enjoyed myself. I really did. I really, really did. I did. Well, now I want to give you an opportunity to tell people, so how can they find you? How, how do they get in touch with you if they want to buy your art? Here's your opportunity to give me your website or however you want well, to go. Well, right now I have some websites under construction. The reason, the real reason I haven't put up a website yet, because truthfully, you know, I'm, I'm still expanding as far as my art is concerned. I mean, the pictures are coming out nice, but I know for a fact, the things I see in my head is, is, is going to be even better. So until I reach that plateau, that's when I'm going to put together my website. But for the time being, you know, people have been contacting me on social media. So they'll go to my inbox and we'll just take care of business there. And what's and your, also, what's and, your and handle? Also, what, your handle is on social like, media. Oh, uh, my, uh, on Instagram. Instagram my, my, my Instagram is, uh, Dwayne underscore Jones underscore. Okay. And also on, on Facebook, I, I go under the name Dwayne Jones. Dwayne Jones on Facebook. And I'll actually have links below the video so people can, from my website, they'll be able to click on, link it, and connect to you that way. Okay, beautiful. Sounds good. Now, with that Sounds being said, as we wind down, I want to give you an opportunity to share a little inspiration with the audience. Just any final thoughts, anything you want to share? Well, first of all, I want to thank everybody for appreciating, you know, what I do because, you know, like I said, without my people, without the people, period, as far as art lovers, you know, I, I wouldn't have this opportunity and I really would just be doing stuff for myself. So I really appreciate the comments that I get on social media. I appreciate the people liking, you know, what I do. And basically, all I can honestly say is, like I said, it's digital art and digital artists came a long way. You know, and it's so sad because I found that there are some websites that they didn't think digital artists was art at all. And I went through, well, I didn't go through with certain like uh, arguments, but there are people that jumped in and, you know, expressed their feelings about it. And it was like little arguments started back and forth. But a lot of people support digital art, but there's a lot of people, and most of them are artists, that they say digital art is an artist. When I think that you know, if you take a paintbrush or a pencil or a pen and you create something, you know, it's it's beautiful, you know, what you're doing. You're actually animating something that you see in your head. Digital, digital art can be even more complicated because now you got to play with colors and lighting and blending. And like I said, it's actually a college course. So it is, you know, art. It's art. Well, without question, it is definitely art because when it moves you, and it touches you, then you know it's art. So and that proves art, exactly, exactly. Absolutely. absolutely, so again, I just wanna say thank you, man, for sharing your gifts with the world through your art. I'm man, so thanks glad. for having me, man, thanks I'm for so, having me. Thank I'm you. so glad we've connected and we'll definitely be in touch. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. All right, so this has been another episode of Shadow the Stereotypes. We wanna send a shout out to Mr. Dwayne Jones for really shattering the stereotypes, letting the world know the gifts and the talents that we have as black men. So thank you, man, for shining. We appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right.